happy Tuesday. It's Miss Jen from Polk County Public Libraries back with another virtual animal story time for our Tales and Tales summer learning program. So this is week two of summer learning and our animal theme this week is nocturnal animals. So I'm going to read the book Bats at the Library. Bats are nocturnal animals and Miss Amelia is going to read Raccoon Tune and we're also going to sing a song about raccoons. And don't forget to come by and pick up your take and make kit this week. For the kids craft, we have um, turtle buttons, button turtles. Did you know that turtles are nocturnal? Because I did not know that. Um, so you can go home and create um, your turtle and then you're gonna bring it back to the library so we can use our button machine to turn it into a button. And if you have an older brother or sister, our team take and make this week is book hedgehogs and those are super cute so tell them to come pick that up and it's the first week to turn in your bookmarks for your learning goals so whatever two learning goals you did last week fill out that bookmark and bring it back and you'll get a new brag tag and be entered to win some cool prizes all right let's do our nocturnal animals story time Bats at the Library by Brian Lies. Another inky evening's here. The air is cool and calm and clear. We feasted, fluttered, swooped, and soared. And yet, we're still a little bored. All this sameness leaves us blue and makes us ache for something new. Then word spreads quickly from afar. A window has been left ajar. Can it be tree, true? Oh, can it be? Yes, bat night at the library. The sky is lively as we race together toward our favorite place. Eager wings beat autumn air. Look, that's it, we're almost there. Then squeeze together, wing to wing, we rocket through the opening. We've waited for this night all year, but this is it, at last. We're here. For most old bats, this isn't new. They've got lots of things to do. They'll flutter off and lose themselves among the books lined up on shelves. Other bats in munchy moods will study guides to fancy foods or hang out by a lamp instead to talk about the books they've read. But little bats will have to learn the reason that we must return. The ones who haven't come before have no idea what's in store. Some of them will drift away and figure out a game to play, like shaping shadows on the wall or wingtip tag around the hall. This big box is loads of fun, blasting brighter than the sun. Instead of copying books from shelves, we can duplicate ourselves. Doesn't matter where you look, there's nothing like a pop-up book. The fountain water's nice and cool and makes a splendid swimming pool. Please keep it down, you must behave. This library is not your cave. It's hard to settle down and read when life flits by at dizzy speed. But story time is just the thing to rest a play exhausted wing. And if we listen, we will hear some distant voices drawing near. Louder, louder, louder still, they coax and pull us in, in until everyone, old bat or pup, has been completely swallowed up and lives inside a book instead of simply hearing something read. Breathless, lost within the tale, no one sees the sky grow pale. What is that light? A lamp? The moon? Our bookish feast can't end so soon. It feels as though we've just begun, but now we leave our books half done. Through the window, into sky, it's much too late, we've got to fly. But maybe a librarian will give us bats this chance again and leave a window open wide and to let us share the world inside. For now, we'll dream of things we've read, a universe inside each head. Every evening, one and all, 
will listen for that late night call. Can it be true? Oh, can it be? Yes, that night at the library. The end. The night here we come. It's our time. <laughs> I am an owl with a unique neck. Believe it or not, I can turn my face upside down. Can you do this? <laughs> I look all around underneath the moon. Try this. Swoop in to catch an animal. I'm hungry. Raccoon Tune by Nancy Shaw. Moonlit June night, just right for raccoon night. Not too dark, not too bright, as we look for treats. Out we creep while people sleep. Soon we hope to find a heap of cheese and breadcrumbs piled deep on codfish bones and beets. Deep in bins we always forge. Clinking tins we find in storage. Apple skins and maple porridge, broccoli and sweets. Ash cans, trash cans. How we love to crash cans. Mash and smash and bash cans. We'll get that lid to pop. We have to throw it at the fence. People should have common sense. There wouldn't be so many dents if they'd leave the, the top. This lid is on a little tight. We'll have to put up quite a fight. We pull and pull with all our might, but nothing gives until we grab the can and try to spin it. The top comes off. Look what's in it. Oh no, it's rolling down the hill. We thought we saw some cake with cream or was that just a hungry dream? It's rolling fast and gathering steam. We run, we dash. A clunk, a splash. Our tasty trash has fallen in the stream. Dive right in and grab it, quick. Teamwork ought to do the trick. Hook a handle, poke a stick. At last we pull it out. Oh, my whiskers, how delicious. The can is full of flopping fish, a super duper supper dish. We'll have a feast of trout. Moonlit June night, just right for raccoon night. Not too dark, not too bright. <laughs> when we are dining out. The end. <laughs> 